This is when the drummer gets to sing. Oh yeah. I know that's what you've all come to see. He's just sorting out his microphone. Yeah, I just want to make sure the microphone doesn't go limp on me. We wouldn't want that, would we, Kurt? No, other things going limp on me. At least the microphone needs to stay straight. Uh oh, that's a bit TMI for the audience, I think. Okay, well, this is the uh, highlight of the evening, as Malcolm said, because I am the best singing drummer on this stage at the moment. <laughs> for this song, anyway. Godfrey gives me a thumbs up, so... Okay, so this, this one's one of the tunes that my dad wrote that he gets recognised for. He actually wrote everything else, but Jack stole it off him. Um, but I give Malcolm a hard time for that, so I, every time he sits down I steal his wallet, take all his money. But he doesn't have much. He don't have a wallet or money, so... <laughs> so I'm kind of poor. Which is strange, because, uh, you know, his dad definitely took all the, all the money off my dad, so... <laughs> no comment. Okay, so this one is called Press Rat and Warhog, and it's about a press rat and a warhog. Incredible logic. Uh,
cough. And I think it was Chris Malcolm Bruce who spoke all of their poem. They were selling eggs to an apple, an apple pie heat, and a pair of really fine looking shoes for Malcolm Bruce's feet. His feet actually go all the way to the end of his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work on first position. <laughs> it's not even Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> 